What's going on ladies and gentlemen? Quick video, I haven't been on in a while. Hope everyone is doing well. I figured I'd shoot a quick video on how I sharpen my lawnmower blades, the process I go through with the setup I have right now. Um, a little bit, it's an older setup with some tools and I'm gonna upgrade soon. Stay tuned for reviews on some new stuff. But this is what I have to go through. It's not too bad. All right, so what I'll do is obviously, I got my extension cord hooked up to the trailer to back feed. If you're interested, check out my trailer on how to wire a trailer. I got one of them videos out there. And it'll show you how you back feed a trailer and you get all these things to work, and it's pretty cool. So, first thing I do, come into the trailer, I set my grinder up. It's a Ryobi. You know I'm not fond of Ryobi, but some of the tools are they are worth uh, they are worth your money that's for sure six inch bench grinder it's all you need if you're starting off in the lawn business get yourself one of these guys this is a balancer for a blade and I'll explain to you how that works when we get to that point plastic it swivels it's like two bucks on Amazon all right and then this here if you're old school like me if you go to Costco this was a deal at Costco many, many years ago. It's probably 15 to 18 years old, maybe. And then here are some good old-fashioned air tools. That's right. Not bad, huh? Half of this stuff I've never even used. Grinder, brand new. This ratchet, never used. I should, but never used it. This is the guy I use. All right? And if you see here, I got some sockets that I leave in here, dedicated for what I have to do. So we're going to take the socket, and we're going to take the gun with us, and we're going to see which one fits, if I have the right one in here, okay? Excuse the trailer, it's a mess. All right, so coming back to the back part, you got the ramps down, or the ramp, where I access my compressor. Again, if you want to know how to wire up a compressor, I'm sure I have a video on that. That's where I keep some of my stuff. Excuse the mess. All right, so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna turn this compressor on. It's been plugged in. Just gotta reach down in here. And where's the switch? Come on, baby, where are you? All right, so let that load up. We're gonna come over to the, uh, the mower. And yes, I have a Homer Pail paint bucket, cause Homer paint bucket holding up my uh, my metro listen it's old school but it works all right i recommend you get maybe a better uh a stand but i'm not sharpening blades all that much all right so what we're going to do i'm going to come over here these are the bolts three bolts or the three nuts you have to remove one two three let's see which one of these fits and that's it right there so what do we got? We got a 24 millimeter socket, and that's gonna work. So the first thing you wanna do is you wanna lock the blade. Lock it so these things don't spin so easy. All right, we're gonna hook it up to the gun. Let's grab the gun. All right, so we got it on the gun. We're gonna hook the other end of the air hose up to the gun, obviously. We're gonna hook up the air hose to the gun, obviously. I'm doing this with one hand, so just excuse, excuse me for a minute. Highly recommend you put a swivel on each end of your air hose. It's very helpful. All right, so it's on. We'll wait for that compressor to go down. All right, now that the compressor is full, turned off, you're gonna come over, make sure you got the blades locked. Put this bad boy in reverse, obviously. Hold on a minute. And we're gonna back these nuts off. Give it a quick shot. Once it starts to spin, you gotta be careful because you have washers in here. You don't wanna lose the washers. So you take the nut off, and before it comes totally apart, 
you're gonna reach under with your other hand and grab the blade so it doesn't slip and fall all over the, the grass. Let's see if we can position this somehow. I gotta get me a stand. I got one, but I'm just too lazy. All right, so reach under. You can see I could push the shaft up, loosen this. Go easy, because you don't want to lose those washers. Put your hands down there, grab your washers right here. And the shaft comes all the way down. Put your washers in your nut to the side. And this thing lowers down. And you have your, uh, your bolt. You have another washer here you're going to take off, because that's your spacer. And we're going to bring the blade over to the bench. All right? If you're wondering why these things are curved, this is a mulching blade. So not only does it cut on that side, but this side helps it mulch the grass even smaller. So that's a mulching blade when you see those big hook-like things. All right, so let's take the blade over to the table. All right, so what I forgot to mention is take all three blades off before you come into your bench or your workshop or wherever you're gonna bring these things. When you turn this bad boy on, you can see here where the blade is. I don't know if you can see, let me see if I can turn it this way. You can see kind of an angle there. See how it's angled? I know a lot of guys know how to sharpen blades, but you see that angle. If you want to go back, you, I start from the right side and I slide it to the left on that angle. And I want to clean this all up, get a nice sharp edge. Then I'll do one or two passes on the back side, on the back side, to just clean the edge and make it a little bit sharp. Let it build up speed. You're going to hold it with a firm grip, okay? You want to have a firm grip because you don't want this thing to jerk around. Nice angle. You see all the sparks? That's metal flakes coming off the blade. You don't have to apply heavy pressure. Let the wheel do the work. After four or five passes, take a look at the blade. You can see it's, it's nice and shiny. And I do have gloves on. I don't want to get shit all over my hands. I'm oh, sorry about that. But anyways, let's make more passes. Let's clean this whole thing up. And then we'll shoot a pass on the back side. Some people apply so much pressure, they moan the motor out. Don't do that. Go easy. Thing nice and sharp. Okay? 
Now we're going to go to the other side. Once you get used to it, you'll be able to make quicker passes. pieces for this guy is when you're done sharpening the blade you want to put it on here and you want to make sure this thing levels out on both sides okay and the reason let me turn this off the reason you want this to be level when you reattach this to your lawnmower, whether it's a single lawnmower, a zero turn, whatever, if this is, if you have too much metal taken off of one side than the other, you're going to create an imbalance. And when this thing starts shooting at, I don't know how many RPMs on the lawnmower, it's going to start vibrating and it'll screw everything up. So make sure if you want to, if you want to uh, sharpen the blades by yourself and try it, get one of these balancing things because if this thing is nice and level. When it sits still, you know you're balanced to put this on a high RPM motor, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and sharpen the other two. The one thing I do recommend when you're working in a trailer, especially in the summertime, grab yourself one of these rigid cordless fans. Come on, kid, this is one of the most powerful cordless fans on the market. Don't forget the great warranty Rigid has. Come on, Team Orange, bro. Yeah, Team Orange. Bam, you know what I'm saying? Bam over there, okay? Bam, it's all over. Bam. All right, let's get back to sharpening. One other thing I wanna try for all the do-it-yourselfers out there or somebody that just clicked on this link to find out how to sharpen a blade and they don't have that grinder, okay? Or they don't have, you know, certain tools. What you can do is you can purchase this guy goes on the end of your drill it's about five or six dollars I'm not sure I'll put the link in the description below everything in this video the balancer the grinder the rigid fan every, anything I speak about or talk about sorry about that. <laughs> speak about what the hell's going on here um, I'll put a link in the description below so let's try this guy what I did was I left one blade it's dull on one side and I did this side with the grinder. So what we're gonna do is, you get yourself a vise, if you have one. If not, they're pretty cheap. And let me get this thing cranked into the vise, and we're gonna try the uh, drill. Let's do the back side first. spin this blade around and get it on this side Just give me a minute when you have a trailer that's freaking filled with shit this is what happens so you can just got to work around all your tools all right I only made I don't know two or three passes 
you can see that's the back side not too bad so we're, now we're going to do the front side let me set this up real quick i don't know if you can see that all right you're going to take let's do it from an angle here so you can see what i'm doing here's your blade you're going to rest the plastic edge and the stone in between the blade and you're going to go back and forth you understand let's set this up Let's go back and forth. Safety glass as always. Make some passes. It's looking pretty good. I mean, this guy's dull, so we're gonna have to go more. It doesn't create a lot of spark, so you don't have to worry about that. But it's not not bad for this little uh, stone piece here. All right, it takes a little bit longer, but it's, you don't have the spark. And I'm gonna keep making passes because I want to get rid of that rust tip line. You know what I mean? And we'll see how it comes out. We'll compare the two sides. Tell you what, the stone, that little bit worked pretty well. Look at that. Not bad. It took a it took a while. It took multiple passes. Not bad at all. And this is the other side with the grinder. Obviously the grinder can get a better edge. But for the homeowner out there or the guy that just bought a new lawnmower and stuff and you don't want to go out and spend too much money on certain tools get yourself this little stone edge it looks pretty well i mean it does it looks pretty good you want it to be level just like that okay don't mess around that's very important when you're sharpening blades all right so we're going to put the blades back on now if you're wondering why i have signs here quick little tip if you have a drop down trailer this goes for if you're at your own home or if you're working on a job site with children or dogs um, you don't want this to happen, but I put these signs here. I put them right up against these cables. All right, on both sides. You never know when a child or a dog is going to come running through your job site. And if they run into this thing here because they can't see it, they can get, uh, they can end up in the hospital for sure. So that's a quick tip. God forbid Sonny runs into it, you know what I'm saying? All right, let's get back to it. Let's grab that gun. Let's tighten these bad boys back up. And that's pretty much it. All right, so I like to lay mine out. You see there's a washer on the bottom, washer on top. I duplicate, you know, all of them are the same. It doesn't hurt to take a little bit of this guy here, a little WD-40. Um, I don't want to do it on the trailer, so I'll swing it over to the grass real quick. Give it a little shot, you know, quick shot like that, that's all. Then you're gonna take it and you're gonna slide it back up into the shaft. Put all your stuff away. It'll last longer. Make sure you put things away where they belong. All right, so thanks again for watching the video. That is how you sharpen blades on a lawnmower. 
We'll catch you on the next one. We got some good ones coming out. Stay tuned for the 150-year-old uh, exterior staircase remodel. Pretty cool house. Got a lot of history. Customers starting to remodel and spruce it up a bit. All right, what do we got to do now, cuz? Uh, yo, Sonny! Sonny? Should I even check? I don't know, should we? We got some TP in there, kid. That's right. Just for emergency uses only. And I know what you're saying. Yo, that shit's almost done, bro. I haven't used it yet. Well, maybe once. I use the toilet paper to wipe the sweat off my forehead when I'm working. Yo, Sonny! Where are you, kid? Don't forget to subscribe, share, and like the video. And again, we'll catch you on the next one. Yes, yeah, Sonny.